Hi everyone, in this video we will be learning how we can send mails to our user directly from our Flutter app. Sending mails can be very useful because we can send several notifications, newsletter or account verifications etc. So let's start. This is a demo Flutter application and for sending mails, first we need to add two packages inside our application as dependencies. First package will be our mailer package. With the help of this, we are going to send mails inside our application to other users. And second one will be our flutter.env package. With this, we are going to be hiding our email username and password. So let's add this to package as dependencies inside our app. Open the terminal. You can use any other method, but I prefer using flutter pub add. First package was mailer and second one was flutter.env. Now both the packages are added. We need to create a environment variable first. Here we'll be storing our Outlook email Outlook password. From here, we are going to be access our email and password and we are going to send that inside our app. Now here we'll create a new page that will be our mail mail page dot dot let's make it as a stateful widget name it as mail page here we'll have a simple ui for that we'll have a scaffold tab bar and title will give a text send mail from app here we'll be adding a button in our body. Let's add a elevated button. We'll give the child as text send mail from Outlook. For now, on press will not provide anything. Our email and password was inside environment variable. To access the environment variable, what we need to do. First, we need to go inside our pubsec.yml file. Here, inside assets, we need to specify our assets. And name of the file was .env. Now save it. Now it is okay. We have no problem. Now we need to make some changes in our main.dart file. Here, first, we need to make it async. And we need to wait until we load our .env file. So we'll use .env .load. And here we need to specify the file name. Our file name was .env. If we go to the documentation, here it has been mentioned that we should not specify our credentials directly because it can lead to an attack. So for that reason, we are using .env. Now, first, we need to create an SMTP server provided with our username and password. So let's do that. Here, we'll create an, a final Outlook SMTP server. Outlook SMTP. Here, we'll use the Hotmail. And now, we need to access our environment variables. So use .env. .env. The name of the variable was Outlook email. Add a null check here. The name of the password variable was Outlook password. Now, this is our Outlook SMTP. Now, we need to create a function send mail from Outlook. Make it async. 
and here we'll create a new message and then we'll send it we can copy it and paste it here we need to import this message from mailer.dat here we need to provide our user name email so just access the email form dot env and for now let the name be confirmation bot and here we need to provide our destination email we don't need cc recipients and bcc recipients so we can remove it here we need to provide our subject let it be this is just a test mail for recipient let us use the temporary mail and this is the text and this is the html if we don't want to provide html we can comment out that and here we need to provide our smtp server our smtp server was outlook smtp now when we press this button we need to call send mail from outlook we need to link our mail page with our home page so make our home as mail page now when we press this send mail from outlook we are getting our response as connection open and sending the message it means that our mail has been sent successfully so if you check here we find that we just got a mail so this is the mail and this is the content now let's do it for another provider if you don't have any account in yandex then you can create it and if you already have then you need to visit the security options and here you need to create app passwords here you need to just choose create a new app password you need to give the name like test app and here you will receive the password just copy it and we'll be using this inside our application now we'll be creating two more variables it will be our yandex email and yandex password and we'll paste the password that we have copied we'll wrap this elevated button inside a column and we'll make it in center and also the main axis alignment should be center now we need another elevated button it will be send mail for yandex so here we need to create another smtp server just use final yandex smtp it will be smtp so just change it and here we will use yandex here we need to provide our username and password this will be similar instead of our outlook email it will be our yandex mail and yandex password now this is our yandex smtp similar to this function we'll create another function it will be send mail from yandex you will use the email as yandex email just change it to send test mail this is just a test mail from yandex and here the smtp will be our yandex smtp and one more modification here it will not be send mail from outlook it will be send mail from yandex now let's try to restart our application now let's try to send here we are getting message sent successfully now if we check here 
we'll find one more mail has come this is just a test mail from yandex so this is how we send now if we want we can also send the text as html for that we don't need to send the text here we can add an html like this and i have an html for this we can simply copy it like this we need to minify our html so use a min just search for minify html just paste the code and click on minify it has minified our html now just paste it now if we try to send our mail here we are getting as message sent successfully now let's test our mail again now here we are getting the html that we are sending if you check the code for mailer then you will find that it has already written the smtp server logic for seven providers you can use any of providers as you want you need to just call the function and provide the username and password but the gmail one will not work because now gmail does not accept username and password for smtp so it will not work but you can try any other providers so that's all for this video i hope that you will now be able to send mail from your app to the users thank you